It's now time for my annual State of the Association. And I want to start by addressing the coastal elites. Los Angeles, Brooklyn, Phoenix, and Milwaukee. I've heard a lot of old jokes about the Lakers, but I love old people. Ask them about fruit or what transportation used to be like. Here's an exercise. If you're driving around with an old person, you go past a hill, you could say, hey, Gramps, you think that hills change shapes? Content for days. But you have to respect the Lakers for both their domestic contributions like Russell Westbrook and LeBron James and the foreign affairs of Carmelo Anthony. Milwaukee has invested in defense. They were the 11th best offense out of 16 teams in the playoffs, but clearly the best defense. And it's the only weapon we've ever imported from Greece. Phoenix. You know I love Phoenix, but we have a saying in real estate. If you can't afford the HOA, don't buy the house. Kevin Durant is the best player in the world. But he needs to be better at picking allies. Going from Steph to Kyrie is like telling England you've decided to roll with North Korea. Kyrie is a voice for the voiceless on a very politicized topic regarding vaccines. I don't know what that means. I'm not sure he does either. But I give Kyrie credit for this. We have asked you to socially distance by six feet. Kyrie Irving has distanced himself from reality. Philadelphia, they are proof that not working and getting assistance through draft picks is not always a solution. But I am worried about the American worker, specifically working conditions. France is leading the charge, proposing a four-day work week. I applaud Ben Simmons for attempting a zero-day work week. Let's go to the Pacific Northwest, our dear friends in Portland. I believe the standing of living has never been better. And I know not all of Portland supports a capitalistic economy, but if Norman Powell can make 90 million, I'd argue things have never been better. (laughs) Utah. I know what the numbers say, and the numbers say really great things. But one of my favorite economists, who's often wrong, once said, the analysis is right, the data is bad. Atlanta, let's get past our differences. To my opposition in Atlanta, I've learned to respect the organization and move forward. I hope you can do the same with me. (laughs) Taxes, let's talk about them. I made a mistake a year ago. I propose we raise taxes because we need a higher luxury tax in the NBA. We have 10 tax teams paying over $600 million in luxury tax penalties to 20 franchises we're rewarding for not spending more money on players. I know what you're thinking, Miami. What about us? There are two cities in this great country where you can go to pretend to be someone else, Vegas and Miami. And once again, Heat fans are pretending your team belongs in the title contender conversation. <laughs> Health care is always a big issue. I propose health care for everyone, and let's have the Clippers pay for it. No pre-existing conditions. You don't even have to tell them what's going on with you at any point, and you can still get four years and $176 million guaranteed. The Heartlands, where the good people are, we know that. I love what Indiana is doing. I applaud Detroit for investing in homegrown resources. I am concerned about the number of imports going into Chicago. Tech is maybe the most important industry. Who knows tech better than Golden State with Apple, Uber, and Draymond Green? Shipping delays. We need stronger harbors. It's been 1,087 days since the last championship in the city of Boston. New York, give me your tired, your poor, and third-tier free agents. Representative Beal still loves his job. In our nation's capital, he shows up to work every single day, loves his city, but he has an entire new staff, which proves that in Dallas, one man can't do it alone. New Orleans, some of the strongest people in this country, the great state of Louisiana. You've been able to get through everything, and I believe you can get through whatever this Zion Williamson story will be. If both Whitney Houston and the Thunder believe the children are our future, that's good enough for me. Family is still the foundation of success. And no better example of that than Charlotte. Although I don't know if it's the best example if the father tells the coach he sucks in two weeks into the season. 
We need to restore our national parks and monuments like the San Antonio Spurs. I want to also mention our neighbors to the north, Toronto. There's a lot of Canadians that live here that tell us we do everything wrong, but I'd say Toronto's doing it right when it comes to hiring. Hiring from places that don't normally supply NBA talent, New Mexico State, Wichita, and Indiana. Voter rights. I believe we need less people registered to vote for MVP. Mark Jackson had a fifth place vote in 1999. P.J. Brown in 2005, when you could have voted for Nash, Shaq, Dirk, Duncan, Allen Iverson, or LeBron, someone voted P.J. Brown fifth. We need less voters. And finally, Houston. I know it's challenging as a border state, but this is another wall Mexico is not going to pay for. <laughs>